Hey folks, welcome back to Game Geeks. I'm your host, Kurt Weagle. Today's episode, Rippers for Savage Worlds. Damn, this is a lot of fun. I love urban fantasy, horror, fighting monsters games, and this one is right up there with some of the best I have ever seen. The premise is that there's an organization known as the Rippers that are operating out of Victorian London, that's the temporal setting of this, across the world, whose sole purpose is to go out there and protect people from the monsters that actually exist. If you like the movie Van Helsing, or even if you don't like the movie Van Helsing, and there's a lot there not to like, but you like some of the imagery, some of the action, this is the game for you. If you like the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, and again, if you don't like it, there's a lot there not to like, but if you like some of the ideas, this really, to me, is... The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen and Van Helsing got together one day over dinner and said, hey, let's make a role-playing game that combines both of our great ideas into one cohesive, into one really awesome, cohesive setting that you can just run and have fun with. This is the game for you. Again, they have to put a spin on things. This is the, this is the people who make Savage Worlds. So the spin is this, that you have figured out how to rip, literally, rip parts of monsters off and graft them to your body for special abilities. What is just rocking awesome about this? Well, it uses Savage Worlds, which is a really good game for Fast, Furious, ah, frack it, you know what I'm about to say, fun, that sort of dives in and lets you do a lot of good monster hunting. It's easy to get hurt, it's easy to get hurt bad, but it's also very easy to hurt the monsters. There's also a real rogues gallery of names you will probably recognize. You've got Victor Frankenstein, or at least his progeny running around, Jekyll and Hyde, Jack the Ripper, Abraham Van Helsing and his son Johan Van Helsing. The Harkers are still out there. They're all working within this organization to fight the monstrosities, the bad guys who are the Frankenstein, um, the Scions of Frankenstein, J uh, Jack the Ripper, Jekyll and Hyde, all those bad guys. Hell, in the plot points in this, you even find the Nautilus that you can run around and play with. How awesome is that? One of the sort of mini games you can set up within this is that you have lodges within the Rippers organization, each one dedicated to something different, each one having a different angle on the approach to monster hunting. You can also set up your own sort of chapter house for fighting the monsters. There's a lot that is just a ton of fun with this game. The plot point setting deals with one of the underlying mysteries of the campaign, which is how does Ripper Tech work? What does it do to you? So it's sort of cyberpunky attached into this sort of setting. One of my players says, what makes this different from Solomon Kane? One is the time setting. Kane is sent a lot earlier. Kane is much more Conan-esque, and it's kill it, kill it, kill it now. And, you re and it's a much more pure in its approach. Rippers takes a lot darker and a lot more shades of gray approach to the game. I heartily recommend this if you want a... Well, hell, if you want to play Van Helsing, the role-playing game, or the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, the role-playing game, go out and get this. Run, do not walk to get this game. It is 18 different shades and flavors of awesome. Get it, love it, go with it. For Game Geeks, I'm your host, Kurt Weagle. Good day and good gaming.